Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 8th of 2020, well, it's titled Cosmic Clouds in the Unicorn. So what do we see here? Well, this is taken in the direction of the constellation known for, as the Unicorn or Monoceros. And we see a number of star-forming regions here and a lot of gas and dust that is associated with them. And we see several different types of nebulae here, including scattered around the image, a number of red emission nebulae. Red emission nebulae occur when hydrogen gas is caused to glow. So ultraviolet radiation will excite the hydrogen gas, cause its electrons to be removed from it, and then as they recombine, it will give off very distinct colors, and the prominent one in the visible portion of the spectrum is a red light. So the red lines that we see are due to, uh, due to this. Now we also see towards the center a blue reflection nebula, which is caused by a different process. This is caused when the light from a hot star is scattered off of dust grains. So dust grains are very good at scattering blue light and not so good at scattering red light. And that makes this nebula appear blue. And we can see that, and it's a similar reason, a uh, slightly different scale for, for the, why the sky is blue in that atmosphere. Our atmosphere will scatter the blue light much better than it scatters the red light. So in terms of something like this, red light is but much better at penetrating and passing through the dust, and the blue light gets scattered around all over the place, much as the blue light from the sun gets scattered all over and gives us our blue sky. Now, the third type of nebula is a dark nebula, and there's several different examples of it here. And those are uh, areas where the dust is more heavily concentrated and blocks out the light from behind it. And once it does that, then we do not see anything. So those darker areas that look empty actually does not mean that they do not contain material. There is plenty of material behind them. And in fact, just as much material as we see anywhere else in the image. It is just that there is so much dust material there that we cannot see them. And that dust will then block out that area. And that is also regions where stars are just beginning to form. So we're seeing different stages of star formation as well. In those dark, dusty nebula, stars are at their very earliest stages of formation. And we would need radio telescopes or infrared telescopes to peer through the dust to be able to learn about those. And other ones that we see, the reflection nebula in the emission nebula, are much more um, recent star formation. So they are stars that have already formed, and we see the most massive stars are already exciting the hydrogen gas and causing it to glow. So could we come back in hundreds of thousands of years or so, then we would be able to see new nebulae that would have formed, where now we see just dark, dusty patches in the sky. So the process will continue uh, as the star formation continues within our galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for February the 8th of 2020. It was titled Cosmic Clouds in the Unicorn. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be closer to home. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.